How's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here. We have yet another installment of Let's Talk with director Matt Alonzo. Matt Alonzo. Matt Alonzo. Matt Alonzo. Matt Alonzo. Amazing director. Directed by Matt. 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 Matt Alonzo. We're going here. Matt Alonzo filming Young Hustle. Matt Alonzo. It's my go-to director. Over the last few months, we've actually had the privilege of having a lot of random Zoom sessions with a lot of you guys in the YouTube audience. On the last one, I had Matt come in and share a few of his thoughts. If you click on the link below, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9 for the first month. You guys know what Envato Elements is at this point. It's a video editor's dream, the best subscription service in the world. Download as many digital products as you want. Again, down in the link below. Let's get to the video. I remember the first time I went on set with Matt. Um, what video was that one? The Snoop Dogg video. Um, oh yeah, when back, you were dancing. Yep, uh, a little while ago. I remember saying, hey Matt, like you're so chill. Why are you so chill? Like, like this is a huge set. Like all these production trucks, all these people, all these big stars, whatever, like swarm in the place. There's this whole huge like production. And my experience with directing at that point was for, you know, significantly smaller things. Um, I would always kind of, I don't want to say freak out, but I would always I'd always, it would always end up, I would always end up yelling at people. And I'm like, and I remember thinking like, hey, why am I getting so, I feel like I'm ruining this experience for, for my crew. Why am I, why am I, and, and I feel like I, I, I kind of had justified it and that, well, I need to get this, I need to get things done. People just don't seem to be doing what they need to be doing. I need to make sure that people set people in order. <laughs> and, um, and what I realized my issue was that um, Matt was like, it's all about pre-production. Are you, is, what, what is your pre-production process, Josh? And I realized, I was like, wait, pre-production process? What do you mean? What is pre-production? Yeah, what's pre-production? So, you know, basically I would rock up the set, say for a music video or say a wedding video even. And I'm like, all right guys, well, I'm thinking of stuff on the, uh, yeah, I was thinking the stuff on the fly, you know, let's do this. What do you guys, don't you guys know? I want this lighting set up. No, no, let me. You guys are in my head? You like, don't, don't see can't you guys? I'm... Don't you guys understand what I'm thinking? So like, uh, so again, whoever, uh, Nico, uh, sorry, uh, who, who was talking about the treatment pack? Um, that treatment pack is what really just got me figured out like, wow, okay, this is the start. Like you have to, you want to you do not want to be creative on set. You want to do all that creative beforehand, yep. share that with your DP, share that with your crew, make sure that yep. they all are on the same page and they can basically operate kind of, you still have to be there obviously, but they're kind of just operating around you. You know, they know what's up. Yeah. And that's why I just saw Matt showing up to this massive set. I was like getting nervous and I had no responsibility at, at all. I was just chilling, just kind of shadowing that <laughs> for the day. And I'm like, Matt, how can you be in this just pleasant state? You know, smiling at people, you know, laughing. I mean, that's because that's what you have to do too. Yeah, I mean, because you gotta remember, you have, you have interviews, you have cameras behind the scenes. You're kind of a showman during that time, you know what I mean? Really what it boils down to the most is one, communicating, communicating, that's it, because you have to be able to communicate like what it is that you actually see in your mind to yourself on a piece of paper, right? That's that's first step. Second step is taking that and then communicating it to your crew in a way that they can digest, not just communicating it to them, but communi communicating in a way that they can digest because you have all these people on set and if no one knows what they're doing, they're always gonna look to you. And then if you're over here and you're looking at them going, why aren't you working? And then they're looking back. I used to, I used to yell a lot. I used to try to micromanage everything because I was, I, like similar to Josh, I was like, why aren't you working? You don't know what's going on. And I would just like, give me the camera. I don't care. I'll do it myself. But I never told them, hey, I wanted a 45 millimeter lens. I want this, this, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't set up. So by the time you get to set, you want to just be focusing on that moment. You want to be living there in the present, like in the present moment. And then if you can, if you have some um, editing experience, you're able to like revisit the edits because a lot of times on set, all you're doing is, um, you know, dealing with all the conflicts. So like, oh, the person has to leave early. They're going to show up late. This, oh, we can't shoot here anymore. Or, you know, this prop broke. So you always have to be able to be like flexible and then uh, find a way in your mind to make it work. Okay, cool. I just give me, you know, Matt, you only have one shot left. You can't shoot three. Okay, no problem. Give me a 50 millimeter lens. Let's combine these three shots. Let's do here, whatever. And so I can move. Um, and so that, so if you're thinking about creative and you're thinking about the concept, you're thinking about the lot, like all these things at once, I think it's just too much for somebody and you, you know, in general. And then you see your, your crew kind of just standing around you get, Josh was getting pissed. I would love to see Josh, like at least I've never seen Josh in that, that mode. So, um, I know, I don't want to <laughs> Yo, it can, I mean, I, it, it, it honestly does not happen. I, I haven't been a, a jerk on set for quite a, you know, as, as far as I've been told, but like, I remember there <laughs> yeah, was a, right? like, man, I remember getting to the point where you could actually like feel it. Like, I'm like, wow, I am, I am not 
That's the way I am. That's the way yeah. I, I still get that way. I still get that way on set because you gotta also remember you have somebody's fifty thousand dollars. They're coming to you. You have their image as well. The rest of the crew doesn't have that stress. The rest of the crew is just kind of like they're here for the day. Like, of course, they want to work with you to give it, give it your best. But if you're not able to like figure out the best way to get their best, then you know they're they're gonna kind of just chill. You know, okay, cool. You know, go go look at craft services and stuff. And you have to really be able to communicate and like motivate and, and inspire your guys to like rally around you because you are the one that's going to like if the video doesn't come out the, the label's coming to you for the 50 grand you know and it's 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 a little more pressure